Hey everyone, and welcome to Learning How to Cook Caribbean with Larry Fenelier. Today we are up again in Boston, or close to Boston in, in Massachusetts. Daniel Fontaine, the Veganese King. <laughs> He's, he, he's going to be doing another vegan style recipe. Uh, and I believe it's quinoa stuffed peppers. Correct, Daniel? That's correct. Okay, good, good. So before we get into the recipe and before we get into Daniel's cooking, uh, let me quickly introduce folks in the Hangout. Uh, okay, Daniel is the first one on, on, on the left. We're going to come back to him. Uh, next to Dan, it's George and Marilyn. From um, California. Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. How y'all doing? Good. Great. Nice, nice. Next to George and Marilyn, we have George Sepich. Uh George, how are you? Doing great. Doing great. Okay, George is pimping. Okay, George is Love the pimping. Hat. Love the hat. Love the other shit. <laughs> George is pimping the hangout today. Yeah. Nice. Where he want, wanted me to tweet and, and promote the show, so I thought I'd get into pimpage mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, next to George, we have Jason. Jason is uh, a new one to to G Plus. He is in Trinidad. He's uh, also hey. a musician. Hey, Jace. How are you doing? Are you good, good, good. good. Are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Glad you could make it. Okay. Yep. Next to me on my right, it's Linda D from New York City. Hey, Hello. Linda. Hello. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you, my dear. Thank you. And uh, next to Linda, it's my sister, Lisa, my lovely sister. And, and Hello. Hi, Lisa. Sometimes miserable. Sometimes I have to. Hello. Meet her. Hey. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, <laughs> next to Lisa, we go all the way to South Africa, Richard Wooding. Hey, Rich. Hey, Richard. How are you doing? Good, good seeing you. And uh, next to Richard, we have Terry McNeil. Terry's all the way from Canada. Terry is a chef. And um, Terry, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Larry. Good. Chef? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Glad to have you on board again. Thank you. Okay, great, great. Now, for the man of the hour, we go to Daniel. Dan. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, thank you for yeah, uh, uh, allowing me another appearance, Larry. I, I truly appreciate it. I'm happy to uh, cook something that I've, uh, truthfully, I've only made once for a family function, but everybody in the place raved about it, so I, I figured I might have stumbled upon a winner. So uh, okay. I'll be making some... Uh, Sweet corn, portobello, spinach, and quinoa stuffed peppers for you with a, a little homemade salsa as kind of a, uh, a, a condiment of sorts. Okay, great. And um, folks, if you are looking for the recipe, it's on my stream. Um, I posted it earlier today on, on from Drive. It's also on the um, event page. Um, and for those of you who are looking for the um, Hangout, uh, you can just go to the event page, and I believe it's there. Okay, so Dan, you could go right ahead, sir. And um, right. so, like most of well, not most, but my my last dish, it all starts with uh, you know some some oil, some garlic. So I'm gonna take probably you know one two tablespoons of grapeseed oil and get that on the pan, and uh, we will. Uh, let that heat a smidge, and uh, then I got about three, three uh, chopped, kind of loosely minced garlic cloves that I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in here, and get a little sizzle going. Uh, after that's been added on the recipe, as I mentioned the last go around, I don't. I don't do a lot of recipes, so mm -hmm. I had to kind of do it for, for, for the purpose of getting something for you guys to see out there. Uh, I put a half cup of onion. After seeing what a half cup is, I think that's a little heavy, but, um, you know, a little extra ain't going to hurt. So I'd say it's probably, you know, a little bit more than a quarter cup of onion in there. And we're just going to let that start to soften and get a little brown and... Um, you know, probably about two, three minutes, if I have to say, um, before adding 
my vegetable stock. So um, most of the dishes that I've been doing as I've been working, uh, eating, eating healthy, eating plant-based, uh, a lot of vegetable stock, a lot of rice and grains, a lot of beans. Uh, but it seems like no matter which of those I'm doing, it a lot of times starts with uh, onions and uh, garlic here. So we'll give this just a moment. And uh, then I have one cup of quinoa here, um, organic quinoa, um, you know, two cups of vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, again, we just got to probably let these chill out yeah. here for another moment before adding the stock. Yeah, I have, um, I have the recipe posted up here on the, um, on the screen. Uh, Richard was kind enough to, to have it posted in the Hangout. So while you're going through, I have it up there. That's, that's great. Excellent. I, uh, you know, at this point, I typically, and I probably should have done already, but, you know, slight passion, just table, table salt. Um, you know, a little, little love in there on that front. Obviously, the stock's going to have some, some sodium in it, so to speak. So, uh, you know, we'll just uh, put these here. Yep. All right. I think we're good. So I'm going to take uh, my two cups of vegetable stock here. I'm going to mm -hmm. kind of get that in there. I was just going to kind of cool all that down. And it looks like a lot at first, and, you know, it is. But, you know, to the one cup of quinoa, it'll, it'll cook down well. I'm going to let this, again, I'm cooking at medium heat. Uh, okay. I'm going to let that start to simmer a little bit. And um, once it's got a little bit of a, a percolation going, and, uh, hey, Nick. Um, yeah, normally the last go around I had the house to myself, but we actually have some uh, house guests who are going to be helping me eat all this once we wrap tonight. So, uh, <laughs> you know, after I did the, the vegan burgers, there's uh, plenty of leftovers. And, uh, you know, I, tonight I kind of work in the fold where we have some folks here, some friends that are going to actually help me, you know, eat all of the uh, quinoa stuff peppers that I'll be making. So, um, crank this up just a dash here. You know, hopefully bring us along to a little bit of a simmer. Sooner, Nick's in there. Good looking out. Is, is that, Daniel, that, Daniel, is, is that your wife? Uh, 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 introduce her. Introduce her. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> so, <laughs> she, she's, ta she's taking care of the kids, right, Dan? <laughs> yeah, she's looking after the kids, and, uh, you know, we're watching a little football, and uh, my daughter's watching a movie, and I think my son's... Uh, in his room, maybe with his DS or something, but you work on your feet, and that's what we had to do today, and I appreciate you understanding, Larry, things kind of change on the fly. And, hey, um, look, don't, don't worry about it, man. You're a family man, and you're cooking for the family. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Well, nothing wrong with that. This, while I'm waiting for this to get the simmer, I have, uh, I couldn't get it in season. I mentioned last time, Canoyers, it's a farm that's like five-tenths of a mile that way. Um, I wasn't able to get it when I originally made it. I used their sweet uh, their sweet corn. Um, so I had to just go to the local, you know, local supermarket, and I have, um, you know, some corn that's a grilling with the husk out on the uh, grill. As so well a cameo appearance. Yeah. I've been using portobellos. Oh, those, those, those are some big portobellos, man. Yeah. 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 I, uh, yeah. These have become the mainstay of, of my, like, when I want some meat. That's my go-to. So, excuse me for one moment while I go turn those out on the grill, and by the time I get back, hopefully this is simmering. Okay. Well, while Daniel is out on the um, on the porch turning the um, stuff on the grill, the corn and um, the mushrooms, anybody in the hangout would love to try this dish. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you've, you've downloaded it, you've looked at it. Uh, Richard had it up. I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do it today, but I have my quinoa ready, as you can see. Ah, the whole bag ready. So nice. we're gonna, that's the healthiest we're, thing you've ever had there. <laughs> no, I still. I still <laughs> prefer deep fried chicken wings, but we'll try this. <laughs> so, so I'm very proud of you. Daniel is back. Uh, okay, and, uh, Dan. The, the, the corn and the portobello are looking very good out there, so I'm just going to take this one cup, kind of stir it on in. All right. The first time I made this, and I'm ashamed to kind of admit this, but I knew quinoa was a superfood all my reading I've been doing since I switched up my diet. And um, 
I was like, there's no way this is all going to cook off, you know, and it, it, it did, and I was pretty surprised, but, um, you know, I brought this to a uh, family function, it was a uh, birthday party for my nephew, mm -hmm. and uh, my dad had said, you know, hey, if you want to bring something, I know you're not eating meat now, and it's one of those situations, and I know I mentioned in the last show I was in that, I kind of looked around and was like, what do I have to work with? And I was like, I got a little of this, I got a little of this. Truthfully, the corn that time was like a real late addition where I was like, oh, I got corn too. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, good foods are byproduct of the best laid plans. And, and sometimes when you meet, it just kind of happens. And this dish, for me at least, uh, I hadn't even looked up a recipe or anything online. So I, I, I hope I can replicate it in its true fashion. So we got a little bit of a simmer going there. I cranked nice. the heat up a smidge because I, 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 it seemed that it, it wasn't heating as quickly as my memory served. Uh, uh -huh. I have to show here, I got five, uh, five just standard green bell peppers that I've removed the tops from and took the seeds out and all that. That This should, in theory, based upon my last go around on this, <laughs> yield enough stuffing to stuff these five. Okay. And okay. I have the oven preheated to 375. Um, and then we can see here we got a good little bubble going here. I might take this back down just to, just to dash. And one thing I know you don't want to really get it going too, too hot. But um, what I'm also going to be doing once this is uh, cooked off a little bit is, again, I, I, I'm going to make some salsa here to kind of accompany it. One of the things I put on this when I did bring it to that family function is I brought um, you know, hot sauce. Um, some know, some Trini some Trini hot sauce. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't that. I, I, it was um, honestly, it was a you know name brand. I uh, they came. It was a little, a little drier than I expected, expected it, particularly because I had to mostly get them going here and then wrap them and bring them and heat them where I was going. So I figured I brought that as a safety net just in case they dried out a little bit. And, you know, admitting as, as an amateur cook as I am or whatnot, um, they did dry out a little bit. And what it was, um, you know, Tabasco or Cholula, or Cholula um, yeah. we kind of used that. But I thought today where I had some nice tomatoes kicking around and some extra bread and onion that I, I'd make a nice little salsa to go on that, and uh, that's what I'm elected to do. Well, well uh, the, the salsa will be the um, the Caribbean twist that you're going to give, yeah. too. Yeah. That's know? fabulous. If, if, <laughs> if, you, if you had some um, some uh, scotch bonnet peppers, it would have been a nice addition. But anyway, sorry, George, go ahead. No, I just had a quick question for Daniel about the quinoa because I was a little concerned because it says, uh, I just want to make sure that nobody would be tripping over this meal because it says it has eight essential amino acids. <laughs> George. George. I can always count on you for a singer, no matter which George. show or I'm watching or <laughs> I know George is good for we almost need who's got the effects? We need a rim shot after that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, George George has been invited, ladies and gentlemen, for comic relief. So everything that George says, take it with a grain of salt, please. And a dash of pepper, please. <laughs> so this is probably been at a good simmer now for about five minutes, I'm gathering. So, um, you know, we're, we're going in the right direction here. You can see the, you know, the, um, the, the, the stock is kind of cooking off, which is good. And, again, time is a little bit of the essence here, you know, trying to keep these things when they're live to, to you know, an hour. So um, I've been adjusting the heat as you see fit. If you don't have to get this within, there's no harm and no foul keeping it at a five and let it ride out for a good 15, 20 minutes. You can tell the quinoa was done once, once, once the liquids kind of started to burn off and you start to see what they call the germ ring, I guess, which to me was, you know, I, I thought I might be opening myself up to a joke from George uh, even mentioning that. But, um, Give him a minute. He'll come up. Uh, you know, that, that's kind of a key indicator. Um, so around probably about a minute from now, or two minutes from now, I'm going to need to kind of cut this stuff. I'm going to add the portobello and the sweet corn, which I'm going to go retrieve from the grill. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right All back. Right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't even bring up the mushrooms to go along with the acid. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> so Larry, um, um, we actually went and, and bought uh, the stuff for this because after we watch him make this, we're going to make some. We've got these uh, two righteous. Wow. Yeah, we got these. Oh. Yeah. Wow. They are huge. Those are really good. Hold it up for the plug there. Wow. Those portobello. Hold it up again. I think Richard wants it. Too close, too close. Come back a little bit. Put back, put back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Those are, those, are worthy oh, of, wow. those are worthy of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, they're worthy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm inspired. They look pretty. I look that so, uh, Daniel is back. So sorry for leaving the spoon where I did. Okay, that's, that's okay. So, thanks, thanks for sharing. Um, these weren't total husk. They were they were kind of whatever that's called quarter husk. But I like getting it to where, and these are hot. You go figure. Come off the grill. Mm -hmm. I like to get it to where it's got that little kind of dark look to it. It kind yeah. of adds the flavor, adds to the the feel and the textures. One of my my, my brother who had had this uh, at the family function. And, just real quick, here's here's the portabella. You know, they they were on probably the standard, uh, you know, 15 minutes. We'll call it. And again, we're gonna finish this in the oven, so if the corn isn't cooked to where you maybe have it. You know, if it were just straight on the grill, it's fine because it'll it'll, it'll finish mm -hmm. in the oven. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly reduce the heat a little bit. It's kind of coming off. Of, you gotta watch out for what you ask for, I suppose. Because now it's coming off a little. A little quicker than I uh, had it planned on. But yep. I'm going to take the portobello here and uh, let's see here. Let me just do this with my camera here. Daniel, I just want to say it, that, that, that grilled corn looked amazing. Mm. It looks delicious. Yeah. So I got two of these. Um, you know, and I'm just going to do one at a time. Boom, right in. Lovely. Daniel's really good with a knife. Did y'all notice that? Yes. Yeah, yes. See him in West Side Story this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be an actor at one point. So, uh, oh, God. Marilyn, do you have the um, sprouter yeah. handy and the sprouts? I haven't. I, I've got the sprouter, but I haven't done anything with it yet. But I'll, oh, okay. Yeah. Whoop. We'll uh, show it off. Uh, yeah. Get that away from us, and then I'm going to rip the husk off of two of these guys. I cooked three just in case I burnt one. Uh, <laughs> <Smart>. <laughs> and uh, this so I got a nice even end. It's always good to have a spare husk. <laughs> Lucky joy. And this is a little warm, but uh, again, time. Yeah. Hang on just one second. Let me grab a paper towel so I don't end up having to go to the ER here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, be careful. Just hold it up. No, normally, I would put it in a, let it stand up in a bowl, and um, that way everything. But, yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're, you're doing it fine. That's, oh, so that's, my feet here. <laughs> that's the way I do it, and I always get corn all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I, doing that right now. I, you know, I prepared for. Uh, some cleaning up here. Right, so, so we say George comes corny. All right. <laughs> so, we got, I got a few husk strands in here, which you know, add to the experience, as I say. Put it, put it in the pot. It'll taste good. It adds flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. rough it. <laughs> so now that that's in there, you know what? I got this one extra one. I'd be a fool not to use it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, might as well. Oh, yeah. With a lot of the stuff I do, there's no right and no wrong. You know, you can kind of, you know, if I was a baker, I might be in trouble because I don't measure much, but I'm not. So. Well, uh, Terry will, will let you know for a fact that if you were a baker, <laughs> you would be in trouble. Right, Terry? Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm more exact with baking. Yeah, you yeah. have to have the proper leavening yeah. ingredients. Terry, oh, Terry, I, I, Terry, I Terry is a master baker. I understand that. That's one of the reasons. That's one of the don't well, say that about one of the things I enjoy. I just remembered. I shouldn't have said yeah. that around George. Larry, don't ever oh, say that around George, yeah. please. Excuse so, me. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing, nothing at all, George. Seven. Nothing. Whoever wants to us some nothing to see. Nothing. So let this ride out at uh, medium heat for probably so, another three, four minutes. Dan, would, would you have to put any more stock in there? In, in the pan, and 
Why, why, why are you on the pad? I have some. I'm kind of taking a look to see uh, how it, yeah, I probably just, would. Just adjust the camera just a smidgen down so we could um, get a full view of the, the pot. There we go. Sorry. Got to adjust. Oh, it looks good. Uh, looks oh, that looks beautiful. Dash. Doesn't that look yummy? Mmm, -hmm. mm, I want some. Yeah, if I had to guess, that was probably two or three tablespoons. And I am putting salt or pepper in this mm. since the very beginning, so I'm going to actually season it now. Because my daughter's punching me in the bone. This is my daughter, Allison. She has Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Allison. Wait, wait. Maybe she can cook with you someday because uh, uh, there's kids in the kitchen in the works. Kids in the kitchen, yeah. No exaggeration. She can make, uh, if I give her everything she needs, she can make pancakes. Including pouring them and flipping them using wow. like a cooking skillet where it doesn't have any edges where she needs to deal about like scooping down and in. So I'm hoping that she's you know, a little bit of a chip off the old block when it comes I'm to impressed from that age to be that good in the kitchen. Uh, she likes helping. She's she's strong willed. Good, bad, or indifferent, she's strong willed. Now the last ingredient that I use here is uh, spinach. I don't add it when it's in the pan. I've actually, um, the one time I, I, I ripped this whole thing together, I added it once it was in like a mixing bowl because the heat from the, the quinoa that's kind of saved up here will, will do a good job. And then again, it will be uh, finishing uh, in the oven here. So I'm just waiting here. I added a little bit more stock and i am probably got another five minutes, I'm hoping, before I start to see the... Uh, the germ ring, as they call it, which to me is just kind of kind of weird, but whatever. Hey, hey, Dan, Dan, if you can move, if you can move the um, stove camera just a smidgen to the um, to the right. All right. Excellent. Excuse me, okay. just one more. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, that my name. That looks so awesome. Yeah, it, it looks good. It looks good. I was off. I was off camera there for a few seconds. My neighbor's uh, birthday is tomorrow, and she bought me some food and and drink. <laughs> Happy birthday, neighbor! Yeah. Mm -hmm. After my last, this is so colorful. This is very kind of like earth tony. And I said, yeah. uh, well, you know, the good thing is, is I got these nice green peppers here, and the uh, red pepper for my salsa and my red tomato because. I was looking at that compared to the uh, the last one that looked like you know it looked like a box of Crayolas or whatever, and this one's very very uh it's the antithesis of that I suppose. It looks it looks good though. I mean at, at this point, Daniel, let me ask you: if you want to flavor that, you you can flavor it. You could put in some cumin, oh, if you want some hey, I'm some, about some exotic it. spices if you want, right? Let's go for it. Yeah. You know? Make it, make it Caribbean. Put some cumin. Put some. You know, I got a little. You know, put some again, I, I stay in my comfort zone, so I got a little ground cumin here. We'll do a little bit of that for you. Yeah. A little uh, chili powder, which we're actually going to be uh, probably. Not, not, not too much because you have to feed the kids. So you want to go, you want, you want to go light on that. But yes, to your point, you can, uh, you can. A lot of stuff I made, and I, I know I said that last go around, and I'm sorry for the background noise here. Um, you know, a lot of stuff I make, you know, there's, there's, again, kind of no wrong and no right, and you can kind of shoot from the hip, because let's face it, it's, it's kind of what I do. Um, so I'm hoping that we got two minutes left on that, and I'm going to stuff these up. I'm going to add this to uh, this mixing bowl, and, uh, you know, toss it with the spinach, Get them mm -hmm. stuffed up and uh, put them in the oven, and then I'm gonna work towards. Uh, I'm gonna work towards uh, wrong bowl, actually. My bad. Uh, <laughs> doing my salsa real quick here, and I apologize for all the background noise. And like I said, you're 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 a family man, so I mean, kids kids are there, so uh, hey, don't worry about it. All right. That's that's the extra nice. spice in the show. That's the extra spice in the show. Having the kids around. Oh, uh, you know. And what about me? <laughs> 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 
That's why duct tape was invented. Hi, George. Someone tell us, George. <laughs> How's it looking here, Dan? All right. Oh, that's beautiful, I got man. rings coming out, so I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna transfer this here in just a moment, and then uh, we'll uh, let it cool momentarily. While that's happening, I'm gonna start on uh, start on the salsa, and uh, we'll get these right into the oven and we'll uh, be in good shape. So. I'm going to move the camera here in a moment, so uh, my apologies, bear with me. I planned on doing it on the stove, not recognizing that the stove will still be hot. <laughs> so uh, bear with me one moment while I get my fancy camera staging area, which is, you know, this nice, this nice other pot. And I'm going to take this guy. And... Larry, can you help me with the angle? How are we looking? Well, that good? That looks good. Looks good. All right. So we see here, and you can kind of see with the, the, the quinoa when you're up close and personal with it, you know, that little germ ring, it kind of gets this little halo around it, which kind of lets you know you're, you're uh, at the right place. And, again, it's going to finish. We're going to do about another 10 minutes in the, uh, in the oven, maybe 15, maybe 20. You know, so I just got to grab a spoon here. I have fresh baby spinach here, organic baby spinach, and... You know, I'm gonna take just a handful here and start kind of, kind of toss that in. You'll see it start to get limp as it gets in there. I like, you know, I sound like a skipping record, I know, but I kind of, I kind of riff in the kitchen, and you know, I wish I could give you a precise measurement, but uh, you know, when it looks like it's kind of got the right, the right amount of. Uh, you know, green to uh, quinoa and mushroom and corn. And it's funny, my brother, I started saying this earlier before maybe one of my kids ran through, he kind of said, he's like, this dish is interesting because between the, the grilled mushroom, the grilled corn, there's kind of like, you know, each bite presented its own kind of flavor. You know, you add the spinach into that mix for a little, little health kick. So I think we're looking good here. I think we're ready for some stuffing. Um... So I'm going to move this, move this, I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to take my hand of peppers, put it right here. How are we looking? We good? Are you good, Larry? The angle good? All right. Let me get a spoon. Awesome. So, little guy out of here. I, I, this one I could do it with this, but I'll do it a lot quicker with that. So, I'm going to just start small. You know, you want to make sure you get enough mixture for all five, and if worse comes to worse, you can just pack it in. You know? So, let's see here. I got it. And just uh, it in. That's looking brilliant already. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. You know, a little corn, a little quinoa, a little mushroom. Just need a little bit of everything in there. And when I made these, I made four. And the function I was going to was, you know, a little bit larger than just, you know, one pepper a piece. But I quartered them and kind of splayed them out on their side. So it was, I don't know, I, I kind of jokingly said it was it was almost like, uh, you know, pizza or whatever. And um, I, I expected to be bringing some home, and I didn't. I said, ooh, I might have stumbled into something good. So uh, let me just top this off, and we'll get this right into the oven. Again, I got it at 375. I think when I originally did it, I did it at 350. Again, just knowing, uh, trying to keep time on the mind, uh, I, I went an extra 25 degrees hotter. So uh, pack this up. And I do or I did, and I will right now, right before uh, throwing these in, I just do a dash of salt and pepper across the top, which I'm going to grab here real quick. Now, do, now Daniel, uh, for, for the baking pan, do you need to uh, um, uh, spray it or do anything, or is it just okay going no, straight into the pan? No, it, 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 no, it shouldn't stick or anything like okay. that. 
watch it will just now because I, I didn't do anything, but no. <laughs> I think something small rather than like a baking sheet for obvious reasons. It it keeps the uh you know, keeps the uh you know, gives it a, a, a <laughs> some stability if you will. So uh C D here, let me get the oven light on. I got my oven, let's see if I can do this somewhat like I know what I'm doing here. We'll, We'll turn that around like that. It's, oh, look, go into the oven. Be happy. Be better. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, now that I've done that, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the tops back on. So, so, that, that, right so, the, so that goes like in, or around the center shelf type of thing? I'm sorry? The, the, the position in the ovens around the center? Uh, I did it. Uh, honestly, I did it the first time. I did it on the lower. I don't adjust my shelf uh, heights that often. And uh, so, um, I don't know if those all match, but it gets the job done. I just like okay. the look, particularly when it comes out. So, uh, mine's my lower shelf, George, but you know, there's no reason you couldn't do the center. Okay. So, get my towel out of my way. Get my spinach. Put a piece here because I love it. Um, and we're gonna just go. It's a simple salsa. Um, one thing I'm going to do to kind of mix it up is I don't have anything to really heat it up except one or two, you know, store bought hot jalapenos. Previously, I, I had a lot of, um, well, habaneros and stuff coming out of my garden that I have here. Um, you know, this, this was very much kind of like a, a late ad where I said, you know, hey, I got to do some sort of condiment. And I also recognize that these were going to be in the oven for at least at the oven time here. I'm going to start with, uh, I'll put 15, yeah, I'll put 12 on to start. And I figured, what, why not make, you know, some of my, uh, my, my homemade sauces. So, um, we start, I have, these are two different types of tomatoes, both purchased at a local farm. Uh, one is the standard, I guess, vine ripened, whatever. It's not the one that comes individually. It's got the, the, the the vine's still on it, and then the other was a standard Roma, maybe. Um, so I got, this is about four, four tomatoes worth. Um, so put that in here, and actually after putting that, I'm worried that my bowl might not be big enough. Go big, you can, you know, why not? Okay, so I got that. Um, you know, I have, I don't know, small red onion. And again, I'm going to just pinch one or two in here. One. Um, Would it be okay to use like a white or yellow, or does it need to be red? I'm sorry? As far as the onion, would it need to be red, or could you use a white or yellow? Uh, I use red because uh, I, I, I kind of you know, like the flavor that it has. Salsa is a beautiful thing, or pico de gallos, whatever you want to call them. There's really no, like most of the stuff I cook, there's no real wrong answer. Look, I still have some of my white here from cooking the quinoa. Okay. I'll just throw all that in too, because we don't want it to go to waste, right? Right. I'll discriminate against red versus sweet versus the dahlia versus whatever. <laughs> I have like one clove of garlic here. Throw that in. And, um,. You know, part of the, you know, for those of you who are kind enough to watch my, my first show and, and maybe familiar, you know, I kind of cook you know, or prepare both by vision, by taste, you know, by smell and stuff like that. And this is one of those situations where I think, you know, if the uh, onion looks a little too heavy, maybe I grab another tomato and add another tomato in, which I may do. Right. Oh, hey now. I'm going to work on my feet here. So I'm just going to take this guy real quick and... Uh, I didn't need that salt anyway. So just kind of quarter them out like this, like so. And kind of take all the juicy juice out. Oh, come on now. And we'll do that for all four of these here. And uh, like so. And then I might have gone a little heavy with my red onion there. So I had this guy kicking around, so why not use it? Right? So uh, we'll get this all chopped up and ready for 
My guests have been kind enough to sit there and deal with uh, both my children, their children, and uh, the guy with the knife and the pans in the kitchen, a.k.a. me. Yeah, but, you, just uh, removed, you just removed the pit from the uh, tomatoes, right? Yeah. You don't have to worry if there's eight seeds in there and stuff, right? That this no, I, he, he removed you removed the pit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So now, from what was before, it looks like I maybe went a little too, in my opinion, again, your opinion may vary when you're making stuff, it looked like I'd gone a little too heavy with the onions. Fortunately, I had, uh, you know, another tomato kicking around, so I used that. So I have two ramekins full. You know, go figure. I don't know what that equals to, but a green pepper. I'm not going to put all of this one, although I could. I'm not sure really why I didn't, but you know. Start to look like start to look like Christmas. <laughs> I, have, I love it. My uh, grapeseed yeah. oil. Use olive oil. Um, I have one small, um, you know, red pepper. Use oh wow! Look at the beautiful, vibrant red. Yeah, colorful, colorful. Right. Yeah, it's and a gorgeous dish. Let's see here. You know what? Let's just go. Let's yeah. go Thank you, my lovely assistant. All right. So now I'm gonna season, and here I just go a little hog wild. Normally I'd have nice, like you know, kosher salt measured out, and I can use my hands like pros. But hey, I'm not a pro, so I use table salt or shaker. Uh, let's see here. Now with this, I, I have learned, you know, I'm trying to crank this down a bunch of times, look at the amount of pepper I have, so yeah, that looks good. Throw that in. I am going to take my cumin. I use, I don't know, three to four shakes of cumin, one, two, three, four, call it a day. Um, and we toss this a little bit. Now, this is the point I have. Go ahead. Any lime juice and cilantro? Yeah, well, I was going to say, if I had um, if I had uh, hot peppers, this is the point based upon the right. way I do it. This is where I would add my uh, warmer peppers, which I don't have stuff from my garden, but I have these guys. So I'm going to, these are just like store bought sandwich uh, jalapenos and figure, let's kick it up a little bit. You know what? You can even a little bit of Yeah, that. use some of that juice, yeah. Yeah. You know, so uh, just gonna chop these as finely as I can get them to kind of spread in there. I had a friend who made salsa recently. We were watching one of the NFL games. She soaked the tomatoes in like a traditional store bought hot sauce first, and I was like, I couldn't tell what it was. I hadn't talked to her yet. I was like, this is kicked up. What is the deal here? I never thought about doing that. But uh, you know, if you're making stuff at home, I mean, you can buy the stuff in the jar. Stuff in the jar does the job, but. You know, for the 10 or 15 it takes to do something like this, I was actually watching a standard food program where, you know, mm. they go in and kind of show restaurants why they're, you know, could be doing better or whatever. And the guy's like, look, this is the garbage you're selling. You know, let me show you how easy it is. <laughs> I can do that. So I'm going to take a lemon. I actually picked the last of my jalapenos from the garden today that that, that, uh, that survived. Uh, that, so that was it was pretty cool. But it, actually, it's mid November here in Illinois, and I still had some jalapenos growing. So that was pretty wow. cool. N nice, George. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Half a in Illinois. And I do just a dash of some red wine vinegar to take some of the acidity of the tomatoes and pull it out a little bit. And ideally, in an ideal setting, I would let this sit probably five to eight hours in the fridge. But I've also found that if you don't do that, it still tastes good. So That looks one good. Thing, one of the things I do, too, is I kind of start to see what kind of liquid is at the bottom. You know, I get it to where you can kind of push it all down low into the bowl and almost see the liquid line. You probably have the right amount of liquid in there. And again, I've done it where it's drier. I've done it where it's a little bit wetter. Right now, I'm pushing this down, and I don't feel like at the beach when you're near the water line and you're digging to try to find water. Right yeah. now, I don't see the water. So I'm going to just, without the press, I'm going to add a little bit more lemon. I know to pull out. Again, you put it in there. In a little bit of oil, and let me see here. Hold on, mix this up good here, and I'm gonna take a taste. Nice. 
Okay, that works. <laughs> this doesn't need anything else. So I'm going to cover this and get this into the fridge. That looks good. Oh, wrong thing. Hold on. That looks real good. And, you know, you figure you get that pepper, you take that cap off, and there's a little list up on the top, or if people want to, you know, somebody asked for, I think, if I remember correctly, somebody asked for ketchup when I was at this uh, get together. And I was like, fair enough, whatever it takes. And uh, I, think, I think some of them were, you know, worried about, like, the taste. And they quickly were like, you know, it's good on its own. So I'm just going to take a few of these things and clean up here. Let's see, my, my calendar says I got four minutes left for the 12 minute mark. It looks like I'm going to crank this up. If we're going to meet the time, I'm going yeah. to crank this up more right now. Put it on uh, four. Put it on 400. You know, so I got it eaten for 400. Um, I don't have much more to cook, but you know, I can dance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're doing better than me, man. I can't. Uh, let me water the lawn. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Daniel, Daniel. Da I, I, I have a question for you. Last time you were on, you did not have a mustache. Oh. Let us know about this mustache you you have um, you're sporting. Welcome to the show, sure no segues. Uh, so yes, uh, thank you, Larry. Um, I, I decided last year I participated in Movember. I was brought into a team through the Google Plus community. Um, I had an uncle who, not too shortly before that, had gone through dealing with prostate cancer. Uh, it was something that I've been considering doing, and then I saw somebody um, on Plus kind of say, hey, I'm putting this team together, and uh, I'm looking for members. And I joined, and I got one of my dealerships that I work for. Some of you may, be, may, may not know I work mm -hmm. in the automotive uh, industry. I work for Colonial Automotive Group. We have you know, 14 dealerships in Eastern Massachusetts, and I uh, am the e-commerce director for the group. And I got them to kind of donate match, donations made to me, and I grew what I guess you would call the trucker, like the Hulk Hogan, if you will. Yeah, um, and, and it was great. It was very rewarding. It was a conversation starter to you know that I helped, uh, as a team, we should raise a shy of $2,300, and that was with the, the, the donation match from one of, my, one of my dealerships. So this year, I decided to start my own team. And I'm the captain of it. It's called G Plus Mobro. Uh, no, excuse me, G Plus and Beyond Mobros. Uh, I named it that because it's kind of everything in terms of my involvement and participation in Movember uh, yeah. started within that community, and I was pretty thankful for it. Um, so I'm heading up a team. Uh, we got some people for both the, the you know Google Plus social space as well as uh -huh. people I know with automotive. And we have 20. People on the team. Uh, we got 19 Mo Bros, as we we're called, and one Mo sister. Uh, as it stands this morning, we've raised just about $900. Um, and our goal is to raise awareness for men's health, prostate cancer, testicular cancer. And I'm going to come a little closer here. You can't really see it too, too well, but I do have the 10 day or 11 days in. I got the 11 day. Uh, I peach to go with yeah, it's beyond, beyond Peach Buzz. Yeah, Peach Buzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ron wants to and re recreation or Ron Burgundy. So full above the brow. If you're interested, you can uh, on Google Plus is uh, you know just the page G Plus and Beyond Mobros. It's a page that we have, and you get to where it is. Even by uh, you know if you can donate, great. If you could just show your support by uh, sharing or or circling or, or whatever the case may be. It's really a great cause, as we all know, October is for breast cancer uh, awareness yeah. and fundraising and stuff, and November is the month for the Mobros and the Most Sisters, and we're doing our part. And believe me, I was buying stuff. I was in the market getting this, and right. I'm like, why is this kid behind the counter looking at me weird? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I got like a nine-day-old mustache. That's why yeah. I'm looking at me weird. And, and speak, speaking of that, Richard, our very own Richard Wooding. It's part of a, a Mo, Mo Bro, Mo, Movember um, yes. group in South Africa, right? Yes, yes. And, and 
and Richard shaved. Richard had a full beard, full red beard, because he was the, he was red beard on the on the um on our pirate show, the Pirates Pub. Exactly. And, and he shaved it off on air. <laughs> oh, <wow>. About uh, <laughs> what two weeks ago? Yeah, just just before the first of November. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, Richard is also part of that uh, that 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 group, and I think yes. next year I will I will probably grow mine and and, and shave it off too. So, th thank you, Richard. And I, Dan, I think I think we ought to have Dexter peck it off of you. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter's Larry's rooster, by the way. I heard yeah. it on. Um, that, um, yeah. I heard it on MSNBC last last week Friday. Yeah. They were talking about that. Yeah. So, Dan, how how's it how's it looking there, buddy? Oh wow. Doing okay. I uh, I can tell by the kind of wrinkle on the cap that you know probably. You know, five. I don't want to lose that heat, so I'm going to put that back and close that. Yeah. But um, you know, I like my peppers and stuffed peppers. Some people like them when they're soft, like almost like they've been roasted. I like them. You know, whether I'm, when it's a vegetable since I've started this diet, whether I'm doing like a stir fry, I like my, my broccoli to have a little crunch. Crunch. Yeah. crunch. In, in the case of these peppers. I like to have that crunch, so I may need, by traditional standards, I'm undercook my, my stuffed peppers ever so slightly, but um, it seems like sometimes when they get too soft, there's just like nothing there, you know, it's, and but, it's a personal preference. So I would say let's give it maybe four more minutes and I'll take them out. Um, but but, but the, good, the good thing is, Daniel, um, most of the ingredients, as a matter of fact, all the ingredients have been cooked in, in, the, um, in the skelet on the stove. I mean, you, you had the corn. The um, uh, the corn was cooked on the grill. The, the the portobello mushrooms were cooked on the grill. The quinoa was cooked in the um, and the onions were cooked in the, on the stove. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be overcooked. And I like you. I don't like. I I like to have a little crunch in my veggies when I when I eat them. Yeah, I'm the same way. I just noticed one of the cameras locked up, so I'm just trying to get it reset here. Uh, so bear with me. All right, hopefully that's better. Um, yeah, yeah, you're, so, you're cooking. You're but cooking yeah, I, mean, I just, I just want to say real quick, you know, Larry, I really and truly appreciate. I know I said it last time, and uh, I don't want to beat the dead horse, but you know, I love doing this. It's like I do it times and it's just my daughter you met, my wife and my son. I my wife calls it when I get into the zone and I'm just like, get out of my way. And this allows me this gives me an outlet to do that and do it for more than just my family. And uh, without getting all you know sentimental or whatnot. I really appreciate you passed me back in a second time and, and uh, Okay, cool. No, well, you 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 you, I'll, you, I'll leave it at you do you do a good job. I mean, the last show, last show, you 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 did. I mean, you did you did a fantastic job. And um, and there are a lot there are a lot of, of vegetarians in the community, um, who would like to see something like this. And and you you're good at it. I mean, you you're good in front of the camera. You you explain stuff well. Um, I, I appreciate it. So, I just, I, <laughs> Want to publicly? I know I've said it privately, but I wanted to take a moment and uh, extend that publicly. So thank you. I, that, thank I, you sir. I, I'm a, I'm a meat eater, but I love to eat vegetarians. <laughs> Vege so, vegetables, Joe. Oh, that's uh, that's what. It's <laughs> Audrey. Audrey, Joe. Uh, I'm gonna pull these out. I just want to get a plate to get them onto. No problem. <laughs> Ah, oh, so we, we are ready. We are ready to plate. We are ready to plate. Yeah, I think, I, I think we're going to be as ready as we're going to be. Let me get my fancy uh, camera stand holder here. Yeah, <laughs> you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Let me take my, my four quart pot and put my little Magadarized camera on top of it. Here. Bring, bring, bring it down just a little bit. Bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, I, I will just two. Seconds. All right. Okay, you you organize. I just gotta get my uh, my my plate out here for my uh, warm pan to come out onto, and we'll take a look at these. And I think they're just about ready. So I'm actually gonna do this first, so you can see. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Take the cap off and. Uh, 
Oh man, I'm uh, gonna make this soon. All well, 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 good. The, the, the germ ring should really be showing in full form by the time they come out of the oven. And, and what, what 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 I like about it, it just started to blister. So I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's just right. It's just right. Yeah. That's that's, that's how gorgeous. that's how I like. That's how I like my. Um, I don't like it too soft. Um, where it's falling apart, it's mushy. Me neither. Um, the the, the uh, peppers that is. Um, so it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> you're awake. You're awake. I'm not saying the word. Just gonna towel and take the wipe my knife here. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to move this. Get my salsa. Get that over to here, which... He's made me so hungry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, boy. Agreed. I've got a pepper in there. I'm just about ready to go get out my quinoa. <laughs> Larry, is, is, is this camera locked? Because I'm looking at peppers. I I am... Um, no, you're... you're... Yeah, I, okay, I just looked up, and, and if it was locked, I, I, I want to... No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good, buddy. Yeah. All right, so let me get a scotchula for my next trick. Hey, it didn't stick. George didn't jinx me. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm so happy. I would have, I would have heard about it for way too long. Oh God, that looks yeah. like so, beautiful. This one's got a big leaf of spinach on there, just blocking all the yummy goodness. So I'm just gonna eat that. There <laughs> <laughs> That's just evil. I just and even the flavor with with the spinach because it pulled out a lot of that. That garlic, the um, a little bit of the seasoning yeah. I actually put in there too. Oh, whoa. nice. Oh, oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to put a traditional, okay. uh, you know, I, I've embraced, I think I mentioned this time. There it is, time, folks. Hot sauces with my new diet. And just to show you, even if they're a few minutes in the fridge, the liquid that's in the salsa, it starts to pull it all out of the veggies. Mm -hmm. and you know, the longer you keep it in there, the better. So, you know, so you, you're very well within your right to even with the salsa, if you opt to do that, um, go ahead and get some, some hot sauce. And I'm going to practice what I preach. And I'm going to grab... A little sriracha and just put that on the side. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna get that trust and eat my screen. I was afraid from going bam. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, that uh, actually, Daniel, that bam is trademark. You got, you got, we can't oh, use it. Can't say that. You got to say <laughs> something else. Oh, uh, say bam. bam. Say, you say, can ba say, bam. Say, say, say bam, say bam, bam, bam. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That, that's trademarked with pebbles and 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 and. and uh, that's true. Bam, bam. Place this right down the middle here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That looks so good. Right. Yeah. Linda, you're right now. Mel and George, you gonna go make some next? <laughs> so, you know, again. It, and I like things sloppy. I like, you know, I, sometimes my car gets a little messy, this, that, and the other thing, whatever you call it. But this meal is, is one of those things where, you know, you just kind of, I'm going to hack this off right here. I'm going to take a little bit of this right here. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. And uh, I'm going to walk over for the, uh, I can't say who this is, but there's a particular, you know, legitimate star who's like, okay, so we're going to take a bite of this right here. This is made with, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me see what's going on here. Let me try this. He goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I hear you. Yeah. What, 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 what a guy! What a guy you are! What a guy that, you are! That looks like food porn if I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> The, the funny thing is that while while you had your mouth open, my mouth was open too. I was waiting for the. I was <laughs> talking. I forget. Yeah. The interwebs, but when my wife's eight feet away, it's a little different. But no, the quinoa's cooked perfectly. Um, you know, the pepper has a little crunch, and you get a little flavors of the red wine vinegar. Out of the uh, salsa, excuse me here. Take a drink. 
Got all that lot, so uh, we're on the point the wrong way. So, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, warm apple cider. Um, anyway, that's that and a bag of chips. And I, uh, oh. I, oh, I gave it back to you, Larry. Yeah, well, that was amazing. D D Daniel, I that, was, <laughs> that was absolutely great. Um, mm. If you if you could take some photos um, of the ones that's not that you haven't eaten yet. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, put those up, man. Put those up. We got funny. We got funny. Yeah. Put those up. All right, so um, well, you can't blame him for wanting to eat. That. I know, I know. Take some shots. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Take take some shots and put it up on the um, on the event on the event. <laughs> is, is it too much to ask somebody to get a screen cap of? Uh, uh, I think George George George. It's George a little is, uh, dark, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, yeah put, it, put, it, put, it, put it back on the other on the other camera. Let oh, the other okay. camera take it. Yeah. Other, yeah. other camera. Yeah. 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 There now we can see it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Can, oh, can, can, can you take the lid off one of them? <laughs> yeah. Take the lid off. <laughs> George. George, why you want them exposed like that? <laughs> All right, guys. Excellent. Okay. So, George, you're going to snap that, right? Yeah, I got it. And while George is snapping that, I would like to thank Daniel for coming on. He did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, my brilliant. We, we met his kids. We met his lovely wife. Daniel. <laughs> and um, we we would like to thank you, buddy. Good job. Good job. Great show. Brilliant. Thank you, great show, man. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you very much. And I would like to remind everyone out there that this can be seen on on my YouTube channel. That's Trini Man Fifty. Again, that's Trini Man, T R I N I M A N 50. Also on hangoutnetworks.com. On Wednesday, we have uh, Cynthia K. Seymour will be doing Louisiana cooking, learning how to cook Louisiana Creole with a tropical twist. Um, and Serena Bland, she will be cooking next Sunday right here. And she also has a show coming up. On uh, December the sixth, right here on G Plus and on HangoutNetworks.com. Again, if you want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. There she is. There's Serena. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hi, Serena. <laughs> Serena was hiding in the background. So, but anyway, um, hey. initial shots. Go ahead. Go ahead, Daniel. I was just saying, can I get my uh, uh, shameless plugs? Go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Plug, plug yourself. Uh, oh, no, no, come on, everybody. Come on through. Once again, much love, Larry. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, DanielSwantine.com, on Twitter at DanielSwantine. I post these recipes there as well. I got some stuff that you may not see here there as well. And uh, I don't feel like I'd do a proper program if I didn't do some shameless plugs. So I got to get them in. But, uh, thank you. Thank you. I, I would like to thank everyone for joining us. See you, see you next week, right here, 4 o'clock Eastern, learning how to cook Caribbean with Larry Finalier. Bon appetit, everyone. Thank you, Larry. Bye. 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 Thank you. Later. All right, bye.